NSF check handling. If you have a customer check return for non-sufficient funds, MaxTrax has a smooth process for handling that. Let's take a look. From the menu bar, click on Banking and select Reconcile Bank Account. Here we select which bank account received the bad check and we're going to enter an adjustment. Click the Add button in the lower left corner and select Adjustment. There's already a return check adjustment on our list that manages just this issue. Highlight Return Check and click the Select button or just double click on Return Check and this opens the customer search window. What we're going to do is put that bad check and associated bank fees on that customer account as a charge. So we enter their name and select their name to access their customer record and here is where we enter that bad check information and associated bank fees. First, the posting date is a date that your bank recorded the non-sufficient funds entry. Next, enter the amount of the check that the customer wrote originally and enter the return check number if you have it. So here we enter the bank charges, the charges that our bank is charging us on our bank account. Sometimes banks don't always charge businesses that carry large balances, but for this example, let's say our bank charged us $10 for that return check. Under Customer Charges, this is the amount that we're charging our customer for writing us a bad check. Let's say $25, and most shops usually have something posted in their office that talks about these return check fees. Now the original check amount and the return check charges both are posted back on that customer's account as an accounts receivable. We can enter a note here if we want and click OK. Now here is that return check amount and the NSF fee charged to us by our bank combined in one entry. This $510 shows up on our general ledger as $500 in accounts receivable and $10 under Expenses, which on our general ledger is account 63350 Financial Return Checks. The $25 we charge our customer in receivables shows up as Income on our 47250 Income NSF Check Charge account on our general ledger. If we go back into that customer's record now, we can see the charge they're waiting to be paid. Just click Customer Options like any other AR payment, Pay AR Invoices, tag that amount to pay, which again combines the bad check amount of $500 plus our NSF check fee of $25, and pay. And this concludes the lesson on NSF check handling.